All right. Now, Exodus 21, 32. So that's if it's, at the previous verse was about an Israelite. It says, now if an ox gore the Canaanite manservant or handmaid, the master of the man or servant shall give 30 selene of silver and the ox shall be stoned. You see? So here's the price for the ox killing the man serving on the handmaid. You see? It's 30 selene. Now, 30 selene is pretty hefty. This ain't a shekel now. This is a selene. You see? So I can, I'll do a breakdown of this at another time where I break down the weights and the measures because the breakdown of the weights and the measures are found in uh, Ezekiel. And a lot of the restorative measures, you have to combine the prophecy of Ezekiel and bring it back to the law. But if you don't have the laws of foundation, because everything goes back to the law, if you don't have the laws of foundations, you won't understand what Ezekiel is talking about when he gets into uh, chapters 32 all the way to the end where he's talking about the restoration process for the end of days. All right? So, Exodus 21, 33. And if a man openeth a pit in the street and doth not cover it, and an ox or an ass fall therein, the master of the pit shall deliver silver to give to its owner the price of the ox or the ass, and the dead body shall be his. <laughs> so everything that you do all right you are the master of it you are responsible for whatever this thing that you've done causes so you're responsible for not only your action but the chain reactions attached to your actions responsibility 101 all right so if the ax goes in and dies then you get the dead ox and or the dead ass and the dead body is yours and you you paid for it you just bought yourself a dead ox because you dug a pit and the ox fell in it so that's what it is okay and when an ox woundeth his neighbor's ox and he died they shall sell the living ox and divide the price and the price of the dead one shall they also divide so this is how it goes now of course y'all asking who is buying the dead ox right so if one ox kill another ox you can sell it to you know travelers the meat is still good but not for israelites we can't eat that we'll get into that later on when we get into the dietary laws all right but that meat because it's a fresh kill it's just you, as Israelites, we don't eat that. So we give that to passers-by or travelers and, you know, they buy it. So you take the dead ox and you sell that to people, not Israelites, though. All right. Where am I? Okay. But if it hath been known that the ox was wont to gore in times past, and his master did not restrain him, did not restrain him. He shall surely deliver ox for ox, but the carcass and the skin shall be his. So now you have an Israelite stuck with this carcass and this animal skin. So you get the leather and you still have this carcass which you can't eat, which makes it useless to you. So you stuck with this and you're gonna have to bury it or just, you know, dispose of it. You see? When a man stealeth an ox or a sheep and killeth or selleth it, five oxen shall he make good for one ox, because he hath hindered him from plowing, and four sheep for one, because he hath impoverished him by his death and not done service by it. So <clears throat> this is this is how theft is is treated so here's an agricultural society 
So if you take one ox, you just want an ox, so you got covetousness on you, right? Because you went and then you went and stole an ox. So now you done broke two commandments. So now here's how we deal with those things. Because we're going to have people here and they're going to try stuff. So it's for one, you're going to pay back five. You, you didn't have, if you stole one, that means you definitely didn't have one. You see what I'm saying? And and, and and now you don't even have one and you gotta pay back five. So where does this put you? This puts you right smack dab into seven years of captivity. Right? And for one sheep and for one sheep you're gonna have to give back four. Right? So that's that's definitely a problem. So now, you see, he makes it more expensive to commit the crime. So you don't want to commit the crimes. You don't want these problems. Because it just gets, it, it, it puts you in a, in a ditch. And the, the ditch keeps going until you die and you bury yourself. All right, I'll be back.